Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So good day again everyone Today we will be discussing about complex fractions Complex fractions are just simply fractions nested within another fraction So what we all know about fractions is that it is laid, laid out in the following form You have say A over B Where in your A is your numerator and our B is our denominator. But when it comes to complex fractions, complex fractions meaning there is a fraction that is nested within a fraction. So meaning your numerator could either be a fraction and also your denominator could be a fraction as well. So it would go simply like this. Say we have this one. Okay. So this one will totally change because you have this certain fraction bar your main fraction bar and it will denote which is your numerator and your denominator so meaning this one will be incorrect already so giving us a over b this entire fraction will be your numerator oops sorry numerator and this entire fraction c over d will be your new denominator denominator okay and this would be complex fractions. Okay po? So meaning again, you will have a fraction within your numerator and a fraction within your denominator. Okay, but it could also be like this. Say we have 7 over x divided by, uh, oh, over 6. Meaning the 7 over x would be your numerator. And your 6 is simply your denominator okay it's, it's not necessarily that um they are both the, a fraction the numerator and denominator are both fractions for it to be called a complex fraction at least one must be a fraction as well one of the following either the numerator or the denominator okay and that is a complex fraction so basically complex fractions uh, can be written also in this form so let's have our first example Say we have 6 over 2 over 7. So, in complex fraction, we first need to take a look which one is your major or uh, main fraction bar. And in this case, this is the main fraction bar. Main fraction bar is always the longest one. Okay, And it divides your given into two parts. The upper part is the numerator and then the lower part is the denominator. Now, when it comes to complex fraction, it can be simply written as the numerator sorry numerator divided by the denominator denominator okay so meaning it's just simply a division of fraction and that is complex fraction so we have 6 over 2 divided by 7 over 1 remember that 7 okay it's a whole number but any whole number can be expressed as the fraction of the number itself over 1 and it's just simply division of fractions so let's not try to make complex fraction complicated okay you just have to take into consideration that any fraction can be considered as division and complex fractions is just simply let's just write it here complex fractions are simply for a while are simply division of fractions so wag na natin pahirapin let's not make it hard it's just simply the division of fractions so for example you will be asked to evaluate this one kasi when it comes to complex fraction you just have to simplify them or evaluate them for example we have um, say 3x over 1 so if I will try to rewrite this it would be 3x divided by y over 1 and when it comes to division of fraction what we do there is we just simply reciprocate and then proceed to multiplication and simplifying this one will give you direct multiplication 3 over x y so meaning this 3 over x over y is just simply equals to 3 over 
or over xy okay and that is complex fraction the same goes when you will be given like this say we have um, x over 2 divided by y over 3 so it would be this it would have the same um, concept you will have x over 2 divided by y over 3 and dividing this one reciprocate is very reciprocation is very important proceed to multiplication the only thing that you will reciprocate is this one po. okay reciprocate it's always class the last term here the last this is the first term and this is the last term okay you always reciprocate the last term or you always reciprocate the denominator okay then multiplying this one will give you 3x over 2y again do not complicate complex fractions it's just simply the division of fractions okay so maybe let's try to um, evaluate another one let me just um, get my book okay. so say we have this given say we have 10x over 15y divided by i mean over 25x over 20y so this is our major okay or the main fraction bar meaning this would be your numerator and this would be your denominator evaluating this one let's write it down and i will reciprocate the denominator immediately so i can multiply so this is your given then let's just multiply them multiplying this will give you 200y sorry 200xy divided by 15 times 25 times 25 the answer is 375 xy and then of course if you will try to simplify this one i told you before that if you will be multiplying okay if you have multiplication on the numerator and multiplication on the on the denominator you can cancel out things meaning i can cancel out this one because they are the same okay because it goes like this as well 200 times x times y 375 times x times y okay so you can cancel this out but cancellation only happens under multiplication let me just put it there okay but if your given will be like this 200 plus x plus y and 375 plus x plus y you cannot cancel them this is wrong okay this is correct only under multiplication okay so going back we will have to cancel x y so we have 200 over 375 and having that you still need to get the gcf 200 and 375 so the gcf of 200 and 375 um if i will uh, try to find out it will be a little bit long so what I want to do or I could do is divide both by 5 and 200 divided by 5 the answer is 40 and 375 sorry 375 divided by 5 the answer is 75 this one is still divisible by 5 so I will divide further by 5 so 40 divided by 5 the answer is 8 and 75 divided by 5 sorry the answer is 15 okay since this one is not uh, not um, divisible any longer to any given number or it has no gcf therefore this would be your final answer so meaning our given of 10 x over 15 y divided by 25x divided over 20y is just simply equals to 8 over 50 okay so i do hope you got that it's just simply division now after you have divided it's just simply a matter of evaluating your given and at the same time knowing how to simplify okay so let's have another example something a little bit complicated Say we have 1 plus x over 2 over 
2 minus x over 3. Okay? So, in this given, what we need to do is, again, we need to identify our parts. Okay? Now, our part is, of course, the numerator is this one, the entire given, and then the denominator is this entire given. Okay? So, the next thing that we have to do is we just simply need to evaluate this one. And this will be the long method. Okay? So, knowing your numerator, it has an operation. So, before we proceed to the actual division, we must proceed with the addition first. So, your numerator will give you 1 plus x over 2. So, let's try to evaluate this one. Using the butterfly method, or of course, the general rule for adding fraction, so this would simply be 2 plus x over 2. It's 2 plus x over 2. And this would be your numerator. Say so it's cross multiply and then direct multiplication for the denominator. As for the uh, I, as for the denominator of our main fraction, so it would be 2 minus x over 3, doing again the cross multiplication and then the di direct multiplication for the denominator. 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times x is x, since this is minus, so this is minus as well, over 3. So, rewriting our given, it will give us 2 plus x over 2, all over 6 minus x over 3. Now, since there is no more visible um, addition here, and subtraction, and it's just a single fraction, see here, it's a single fraction because it has only one fraction bar, then we can proceed now. Why can't we proceed here? Okay, We can't proceed here because again, if this is your denominator, it's a little bit more complex. Meaning, you cannot reciprocate your denominator immediately because there is only one fraction here and this is this one. Okay, You can reciprocate only if there is one fraction bar for the entire denominator. In this case, there is only one here but our denominator has two terms, this one and then this one. So we cannot reciprocate. We can only reciprocate if we have this one. So having this, it will provide us with 2 plus x over 2 divided by 6 minus x over 3, giving us division, reciprocate, 2 plus x over 2 times 3 over 6 minus x. Then again, we multiply directly this one and then this one giving us 2 plus x times 3 over 2 times 6 minus x. Having this, of course, we need to distribute 3 times 2 and 3 times x is 6 plus 3x. And then 2 times 6 is 12. And 2 times negative x is negative 2x. Giving us an answer of 6 plus 2, 3x over 12 minus 2x. 6 plus 3x over 12 minus 2x. If you cannot um, factor this out any further, then this would be your final answer. But if you could, then you could try. Okay. But since this one, I would suggest that this one is already in its, um, what do you call this, in its uh, simplest form, then we can therefore assume that our given of 1 plus x over 2 divided by 2 minus x over 3 is equals to this fraction. Okay. So again, our aim for our complex fraction is just simply to give or to express our given in a simple fraction form okay so before we end our video let's have another example okay um say we have this 5 over 2x minus 2 over 3y uh mine yes over 3y then we have 1 over 3x plus 1 over 2y so what we need to do here is firstly we need to eliminate the operation in our numerator and operation in our denominator okay we can only reciprocate if and only if we have this kind of structure a singular okay a singular fraction in our denominator and the same goes for the numerator 
you will see here in our previous examples, we only have one fraction bar and one term for each denominator. Pag sinabi nating term, ayan, isa lang. One term, one term. Okay? And terms can be determined by the number of addition and subtractions. So this is two term because there is a minus sign here. Okay? This one is a single term because there's one fraction bar. So even though there is a minus here, but since the minus is under the fraction bar, therefore it's still considered as one term. So let's try to answer this one. As for the numerator, we will have 5 over 2x minus 2 over 3y. Okay, multiplying them, I, I mean subtracting them, it will give you 15y minus 4x all over 6xy. So xy or it could also be 6yx. It's the same po. Okay, and then as for the denominator, it will give us 1 over 3x plus 1 over 2y, giving us 2y plus 3x all over 6xy. Okay, having this, let's try to divide. Okay, so our next given will be 15y minus 4x all over 6xy. I'm sorry, 6xy divided by our denominator. It's not divided by, okay? Divided by our denominator, which is 2y plus 3x over 6xy. Next thing we need to do is we just simply need to reciprocate 15y minus 4x all over 6xy times 2y plus 3x all over 6xy. Ah, sorry. We have to reciprocate. So, it's 6xy all over 2y plus 3x. And, multiplying this one, you will have 15y minus 4x times 6xy. Parenthesis there. And 6xy times 2y plus 3y. 3x. Okay? So, remember, class, I ask you to do this uh, this uh, method. Okay? If you will see any similar term that would be under multiplication, you can cancel it out. Remember, there's multiplication. Can I cancel this one out? Yes. I said there's multiplication. Okay? Then the given will finally be equals to 15y minus 4x all over 2y plus 3x. Now the question here is, can this be simplified? So there is no common factor for 15y and 4 and so as with 2y and 3x. So giving you your final answer of 15y minus 4 over 2y plus 3x. Okay, and this would be your final answer. Okay, so I do hope you got our lesson for today. If you have any further questions, you can um, uh, contact me, your, advisor, uh, your teacher in mathematics, or you can just simply review the video over and over again. Okay, so thank you again everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.